the young people here they have lack of access to cultural resources, so being part of this is a very new experience. They're actually making connections with each other and learning each, about each other and, and finding out that they're unique themselves and it's building up their confidence. Remember you're thinking as a large team. This program is a life skills program that teaches people to be able to recognize and, and do change. Everything that the horse does can be parallel to people in everyday life. What we do in this week is we plant the seed. We plant the seed that things can be done differently. You can do better. You can communicate better. You can actively listen. All those seeds have been planted and then every day we water them. And we water them with positive reinforcement. At first lots of us were really, really scared and like we didn't really know how to interact or what to do. We weren't taking the leadership role and then that's one thing the horses taught us, because that if we weren't taking the leadership role, they were just gonna stand there, go do their own thing. Just watching the past few days, everyone's been building that trust in that leadership role and just making lots of improvements. It's another step towards bringing wholeness back into communities. After everything that's happened with regard to residential schools, I am so proud to be here to see young people get connected to culture, get connected to the special symbolism of their culture through horses. It's not just the effects of the residential school experience. It's also the impact of 500 years of colonialism, the loss of land, segregation on reserves, policies outlawing Indigenous culture. Colonialism and institutional racism continue today. You see it in inequitable funding for education and substandard access to healthcare and other services. For healing to start, the proper resources, equitable access to services, and equality have to be in place to benefit the people. If these barriers are removed, these kids and Indigenous society will reach their full potential. The things that I learned here is uh, building trust, gaining confidence. I hope that they can take the positive, learn from their experiences with the horses, with each other and us, and continue to do some of these things in everyday life.